Okay. We're gonna find out what the teams have in store for each other as we are in the draft. Right. Game number one. Uh, quick reminder. Virtus Pro need to win both of their games if they want to make it through the land <coughs> to the land finals. So okay. Both games very important for them. Maybe less so in, for Team Spirit as they can't make it to the land finals, but they do still have a thousand dollars on the line per game. So they also will want to win this. Oh, first pick Chen is it? Because they Here's banned out the Enchantress. They banned out the Enchantress. Chen is still in. Band. They also still have Invoker OD, which you secure one of those mm. straight away. For uh, G, it's not really Invoker. I mean, G can play Invoker, but he can play so many other heroes that it might not be. I think when you know Team Spirit are definitely going to pick OD, or at least there's a high likelihood mm -hmm. yeah. that they will. And it's OD is really good with Earth Spirit, like it sets there's, there's up so much. Any hero is yeah. good with OD, like <laughs> like, <laughs> true. like Mirana OD, man. Uh, oh, that that I with the new imprisonment. What was that? Was that Alliance against? Who were they playing? Was it EG at the Major? Mm -hmm. When uh, S4 was playing Brewmaster against OD, Mirana, every time he just gets yeah. destroyed. Like It's insane. You cannot Arrows. dodge it. Like support Mirana with uh, OD mid is yeah. insane. Okay. Well, they're they, taking their time, to really be honest. Are. They're actually taking their the bonus time as well. It's such a hard well. choice. Like, what do you do? Like, what's the best option? Mm. Is I mean, is there even a best option? So they're thinking about... Preferred option. I think the Chen has just been so good in this tournament. Yeah, I think Chen so is very good all round. But it, it doesn't really help your mid laner if they have OD. It depends spin. on how much you value it though. No, yeah. you, if you pick Chen and you combo it up with say Invoker, you can easily gank the OD. Like, True. Because you, uh, you can't imprison the creeps, you know? So yeah. they do go for the OD. Invoker Chen incoming? Yeah. Think Earth Spirit is... The Earth, one Earth Spirit Invoker? Yeah, something like that. Because they value it so much. They're even called Team Spirit, for God's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that is uh, derived from the hero. But when when you when you have an OD this early in the draft, it's you can do so much with it. You can do all these like healing strats. Yeah. You can yeah. do like these spammable spells. We well, yeah, and we know a god like loves healing strats. Yeah. Are we are we well, gonna see a uh, Trianto and abandon this series? Maybe not this game's could be for this series. Bat Chen. Well, we were Here's expecting the Chen, but the Bat, that's a bit Revenge of a surprise. In the pool. Can, you, can you talk to me about the, the Bat prioritization here? Prioritize? Mm. Well, when you're doing the, the group up and push with the Aura strategy, just killing the OD yeah. is huge. But they will answer with Oracle or... I think Oracle is definitely one of the best heroes. Revenge is really good as well. But if you use Oracle with the OD passive, you can constantly oh, spam the true. hero. And then you have the defensive. Yeah, that's really nice. Ten seconds uh, remaining. But I think Bad is really good here because Beastmaster is gone and Wisp is gone. Mm -hmm. It's remaining. like two of the primary counters mm -hmm. are already out of the pool. Bounty Hunter. Oh! oh okay. Dealing with the Chen. They're not too worried, but... To Instant Death Prophet removal as well. Dying I do want to point back. out that Invoker is still in the pool and it is one of the better heroes for Iceberg as well. Oh. Surprised to see yeah. that not removed. I think it's gonna be yeah. removed. Turn to ban. There's no reason not to. You feel Team Spirit is gonna because they already banned the Spirit removed Brood Mother. Yeah. So Ranger. both Venge and Oracle still in the pool as well. Wind Ranger is also very good because of uh, Wind Run against Odi. Uh, I think you just it's not. You just Astro. Yeah, you just imprison her and wait and up the you duration. And you continue yeah. hitting him afterwards. But still. Five seconds remaining. Hmm. Also, if you play Invoker in this game, you're gonna have a Bounty roaming mid. Time. Yep. It's, it's not great playing against Bounty OD. It's, the pressure mm. is just ridiculous. Invoker could be good, but it's Dying banned. Right? They banned it, okay. Because you can get like Necros and you just go Death Ball with it. <laughs> hmm. They ban out. Invoker? Okay. This draft could go either way for either team. Uh, They're thinking. Ten seconds, about, okay, so they have. The roaming bounty hunter, so you kind of need a a, a pretty remaining. decent support to deal with uh, the bat rider, you know, like someone that can maybe maybe ban. I'd the, say the ban. Oh, I was gonna say ban Oracle, pick up Venge yourself. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But now both Venge and Oracle are still in for Virtus Pro to go for. And actually, yeah, Team nice. Spirit is saying, okay, we're just gonna Virtus go Pros. for the CK. <laughs> I was no longer in the pool. Uh, was Spirit okay. the team that went CK offline? No. Offline? The last time they picked CK, they banned the tiny instead of the Sven. And we yes. actually asked them about it, and they were like, "Okay, yeah, it wasn't it wasn't that good, you know." So, but it's a signature hero. Okay, yeah, it's a signature so we, hero. We offlane, 
Uh, as in duo off lane. I think they only did that in that game because they knew Sven will destroy CK okay. that game and they can't give him a lead. I think they just go safe lane. <clears throat> Keep it simple. But yeah, I'm actually so happy to bounce Sven. Yeah, yeah, I think Oracle Venge here. Or uh, where's Pro? Reserve time. No, what? Yeah, to still save people from, well, from well, everything actually. Oracle or Venge. Or Oracle Venge. or Venge, yeah, yeah, yes. definitely. One of them is really good. Mm. I mean, they don't even need to pick it right now unless they really have prioritization for Venge. But if they want to pick Oracle, they can save it for later. And uh, for later, I mean fourth pick. Mm. Depending on what they want to do. Chaos Knight's actually not reveal. awful against Venge as well because even after you like yeah. level one swap, you can you can still easily reality rift yeah. to yeah. catch your, the target again. So Oracle maybe is. But better. OD orbs can own the illusions. Yeah, but you're never really going to get but that many you, attacks. Yeah, you off. need to attack them. That's yeah. the problem. It's what kind difficult. of control do you feel like Virtus Pro needs to get here? Because you need a lot of control in, in terms of for OD to get a lot of hits off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need some control hero that allows him to do that. Which type of hero would you like to see? I think mm. Shaker is pretty good. Shaker? Shaker? Shaker against Offline? all the summons. Against Bart Rider, it's decent. No. Oh, hey, hello. Um, that's Dial not actually a hero that saves you all too much from a Bat Rider, Lasso, or from a CK. Hmm. No, but it's I very mean, good it, it against the Chen. It is good against the Chen, but yeah. what is the rest of the logic behind it? Are they really planning on Oracle. going Did all in the early stages of the game? They're going to aggressive, yeah. Oh boy, very aggressive. Earth Spirit's going to have Super mana for aggressive. days. Uh, He's going to run around. How are they going to lane this? Is it Bounty Hunter core? Crystal Maiden mid! Crystal Maiden mid. Yes! Um, it could be Earth Spirit mid. I know we had those that. And safe I lane. I think it's just Bounty off lane. And you then Odin so? mid and the two sports. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, core now. But then you don't have a roaming bounty hunter that can snipe couriers and things and help uh, help out against. Uh, it doesn't really help with the chain at all. Get yeah. Ulti, right? yeah, but what we're saying is the. You could go off lane spirit. You could go off lane earth spirit. Yes, That's you true. could go it's safe lane spirit. earth spirit and run an aggressive tri lane. Is there a chance for an aggressive tri lane in this game at all? I don't think it's a good idea. Not with Oracle, Oracle. They can put bounty hunter safe lane. Go. Yeah, it doesn't, uh, I he mean, doesn't it's really not win any lane, and you just kind of sack your safe lane for a bounty. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Too bad. Yeah. Okay, which, uh, which heroes are we looking for here for the last picks? For Team you Spirit, we are looking for the <coughs> mid. We're looking yeah. for Iceberg's hero. Um, what's left? Queen Zeus, of Pain. Queen of Pain. Zeus is pretty. Wind Ranger is They're all the very yeah, Wind Ranger is still there too. Like Zeus would do a lot, but he's easily ganked by Earth Spirit yeah. and Bounty. It's a lot of pressure. He's gonna die. Yeah. I um, think Cop, Queen of Pain is good. Yeah, they still have a decent amount. Like CM is pretty good against blinking heroes. They can go Earth Viper. Spirit's good too. Viper? Yeah, I will. I think Viper is pretty good. Mm. Not even that bad, which no. is. Because uh, you know it's a mech carrier. Yeah. We already have Chen though. I don't know. Ah, uh, that's true. I'm not convinced on the Viper. No. They don't really have that much control, except for CK. That's and why they banned the Puck as well, because they yeah. realized they needed that very badly. Mm -hmm. What else is control? Which other control mid do Magnus? you have? It's not going to do well in lane. Um, Would you consider putting Batrider mid and just go for something else? Like a Lone Completely? Druid or something? Lone Druid against uh, OD mid is actually not bad. Yeah, it's pretty decent. It's difficult enough to gank him as well. Yeah, yeah he's not going to die for my gank. He's not mm. gonna care. Well, he might care, but he might. Not, he would not die. Should not die. They're taking their time, though. It's a difficult pick because you definitely need. Razor. Ooh, Razor. old school. Virtus Pros okay. To pick. So they have Chaos Knight Stone, Chain Creeps, and Lasso. Okay. I'm not convinced about this racer. I just don't like Razor you know as a hero. Normally, I think like if you have a lot of movement speed, you can still do fine against uh, against heroes as as uh, as a Razor. But the moment you're tracked, you're not going to win that run battle. <laughs> you might use drums or whatever from from someone, but you're still going to not be able to outrun them. For right. for example, keep a static link on. Yeah, the thing yeah. about Razor is you kind of have to play aggressive in mid, and it's going to leave you open to ganks from Spirit and. Also, do you don't even know if the Odia is mid yet. No, it, that's true as well. But okay. I this guess they're, is... they're, they're trying to like play around <laughs> mid with Shen and uh, Oracle, probably, with the Racer. But there's no setup or yeah. anything, which is kind of awkward. You gotta decide on which uh, team you want to support for this one, which team you think is going to win based on draft. VP's lineup is so aggressive. They have CM giving everyone mana, they have the spammable spells of Tiny and Earth Spirit. Like, yeah. 
And then in a game with two CIS teams, I don't know, I think I favor the team that can fight better, and that's VP. Mm, okay. This is hard. Oh. I think I have to go with VP as well, because they have uh, like better all just, around late game. Just if continuous they go, fight like as well. Like they have OD and uh, Tiny. Tiny. Now Shooter? I was gonna say Virtus Pro, but I feel like Team Spirit also deserves a chance. It wouldn't be as one side. If I would go for Virtus Pro as well, then it would be seeming like it's so one sided. But it, it is not. No, it's not as one sided as that would be making it believe. So I'm gonna go for Team Spirit. Indeed, let's yeah, find out on, what the think. It is let's time go. for Virtus Pro versus Team Spirit with LD and Andy. Thank you very much, Cheever. That's right, I'm LD, he's Draskal. Draskal, time to close this thing up. We've got one more best of two, and then a nice break before the big land finals to come in May. So, VP Spirit, Razor makes his return. Are you Ugh. feeling it? Or? No, I hate Razor. I mean, I hate playing it, I hate watching it, I pretty much hate everything okay, about it. So, so get, get past your hate. Let's let's no, go I, deeper. It's good. Do, you, do you think it's, it's good. a good pick? Yes, yeah, so it is very good. I mean, for obvious reasons, up against OD, potentially going to yeah. be mid lane. Like, looking at the draft of VP, that's kind of really the only hero they can put in that lane anyway. So I think it's fine. I mean, I guess you could potentially put Tiny there, too. It's not super bad, but it's going to be a lot up to what the Bounty Hunter can get accomplished in the early game. I think if Spirit get off to a good start, you're going to have that five-man potential with the Chen. I don't think that OD is particularly good against Chen lineups unless you also have a good start. So we'll see what VP can make happen in the first, like, five, ten minutes. But I think it's actually fairly even. It's a very hard game to just, you know, based on the draft, say which one or which team's going to win. So I guess let's look at it based on the teams then. If you think the draft's even, who do you feel like has the edge uh, just as far as the rosters and mm -hmm. the level of play they're bringing? VP has goes. been playing a little bit better in my eyes. Like when I see them playing at Dream League, I feel like they're a much more cohesive team than what I've seen out of Spirit. So maybe Spirit can step it up here in the series up against Virtus Pro. But they, they do need to win both games to shut out uh, VP's chances of going through here to the land finals. All right, well, let's see if they can do it. Underway now, game one of our best of two series. It's VP versus Spirit. VP on the Radiant side, Spirit on the Dire. Already the Earth Spirit rolling his way out to drop some wards. We see Funic rotating to the top lane to do the same, and the majority of Spirit's hosts are actually gonna be headed towards the bottom lane where they may run into FNG's Bounty Hunter. Now, I guess the question is, are they carrying any dust? They are, and it's on the CK, but he backs off at the second. Whoa, actually, just barely clipped him there. Looks like they might be able to find the little yellow goblin throwing out the stun. It's the one second one, quite a bit of damage, but the Razor linking him as well. It's gonna be close, pops the fairy fire, sounds up, goes and biz. FNG plays them like a fiddle and lives to tell the tale. Well, thank goodness the salve didn't get broken, because that would have been way worse. Honestly, just making it away, making him use a dust, you know. I mean, the gold trade is relatively even in that sense, and he also scouted out pretty much everything, knows there's going to be warding dropped in the area as well. All things considered, FNG probably coming out ahead there. He can even contest the rune, honestly, if he wanted to, but it's a little too risky for him, maybe. So FNG, it looks like, is going to be a, a core bounty hunter, potentially. Is he setting towards bottom, or who's going to be taking the lane here? I think it's just because of the way that they're doing it right now. It's like dual off lane, like the tiny CM are together, and then it's like dual lane mid as well. I, I think it's more just in anticipation that Spirit might be going a dual uh, aggro lane as well. So and like sack a hero that, yeah, that doesn't really need all that much. They play against each other quite a bit, so I'm assuming this is just anticipation coming in from Oh, the good setup there. The banish into the roll. Earth Spirit looking to win the lanes nice and early. On Iceberg they go, but he's stolen so much damage that G can't really finish the job. Already minus 36 there, uh, to be exact. So, But I think this actually works out better for Virtus Pro than it does for Spirit, just because Bat is actually a hero who needs some semblance of farm, and I don't really think that Funic is going to be getting too much out of this lane. All right, round two. The damage no oh. longer stolen, and they lay into Iceberg here. Has the orb available. One more auto attack. Actually, the poke from the bamboo stick will get the kill. So uh, pretty much the same trick twice in a row. Pretty straightforward stuff from VP. Doesn't have them a first blood. As Funic up against the dual lane. Now this is where the Batrider can be a, a nuisance when the nukes are relatively low level. And he is diving the CM, but Aloha Dance just keeps on calmly floating away. And can't stay on top of him with the Firefly. So it does make it up. 
it's good that he's able to pressure, realizing the limits of the hero. For the first maybe two or three levels, I think he'll be fine. It's going to be when the Tiny's combo starts hurting a little bit more, when Aloha Dance gets his second nuke, that's going to be when they have kill potential on him. Yeah, and as, as a bat, like, you kind of need to float above them and stay around for a while to get those kills. But that ain't going to happen when No Fear does this. Rolls right in with the follow-up from the Tiny, and a couple more auto-attacks will secure the kill. So VP, make it two to nothing. No Fear, very effective in the early game rotations. and. You know, I guess a lot of this, Andy, it really does go back to that dual lane bottom. They've got two heroes occupied, a bounty hunter still getting his levels, uh, and it really frees up the VP supports to do whatever they want elsewhere. Yeah, and just bounty's going to hit six at a really good timing. Batrider's obviously going to have a much harder time, and Goblack needs to make some sort of decision as to how he wants to go about this early game. Like, does he want to relieve the Batrider so he can get a faster blink, or does he want to help mid? Because VP are able to pressure two lanes simultaneously where Team Spirit kind of have to make that decision. Oh, looks like Earth Spirit swinging around in the jungle. He wants to put the hurt on the Holy Knight. He's gonna find Goblack here. No one to really threaten for a follow-up, but just keeping tabs on him. Knows there's no smoke gank happening now. And in fact, Goblack smoke has not been delivered just yet, so he's gonna back off. Looks like he's got a purge creep to work with. And around that time is when the Oracle makes its rotation, so has left the bottom lane, and they are gonna try to close in on No Fear, but he's got the roll, gets very far out, just uh, classic Earth Spirit things, really, and he'll make it home safely. However, up in the top lane, there's the Chuck you talked about. Batrider does get the kill, but not before going down. Tiny ends up dropping there, had the stick it looked like, but may have died anyway, would have been close. Yeah, he had eight, eight stacks, so that damage was insane. I don't know if he would have lived there, especially considering turn time. Uh, opts to, to save it for round two, but uh, Banish again mid, so as soon as they stop helping out the lane, no fear, he comes right back in, he gets the two hero boulder smash, follow up comes from FNG, they've just abandoned the bottom lane, and oh, it's not going to work out as well as they hoped for, as the air spirit ends up getting punished. Spirit's still the ones to get the kill there, so make it three to two with Goblack down the rotation, he's got the purge creep, diving down on Yoku here, committing pretty heavily, they chuck back the bat rider. good reactions by Yoku, will get him out safely for now, as Aloha Dan slowly roasts Crystal Maiden, getting rather crispy and while that's happening there's also a kill in the mid lane as the od has killed off the razor looks like the bounty hunter came back for some additional second servings Illidan, the only hero that just is chilling he's farming up a storm bottom lane and the funny thing about ck is he can actually be fighting if he wants to he's got full treads he can even uh, buy a tp as well just to make sure that he's active in his mm, engagements there you go yeah, it, it, but he should actually have a TP. Like, three points in a stun, two points in a reality rift, that's more than enough to fight. And it's not like these are quick fights either. For the most part, it's, you know, heroes are diving from one end of the lane to the other. Speaking of which, another roll up to the top lane, the hits just keep on coming, and they chuck, destroy Funic, bat down. They clip his wings, they send him home, and all well, the feeding frenzy up top continues. Goblack, he can only do so much to stem the bleeding. Yeah, I, I kind of disagree with the way that Team Spirit lane this because it actually puts so much pressure on the Chen by not just having a normal, stable, safe lane and then having another hero who can rotate around to protect mid. Because Iceberg is still being pressured quite a bit here. He's only got 12 CS at four minutes. Like, sure, the OD is not farming that much either, but he's also died two times. Whereas G has been involved in two of the kills that he's gotten. He's almost level six. I don't know. It just seems like a bit of a shaky start here from Spirit, and that's not a good sign. You need this Chen to be getting your team momentum. You need, you know, the Batrider to be getting some farm to make his way towards Blink. And Funic, he's just not going to be able to find it here in top lane. Yeah, looks like FNG has made that journey back towards bottom, but around this moment is when Always Wanna Fly creeps up through the river, drops down the Observer Orts. They've now got two around that top lane, giving tons of vision. It looks like they are closing the gap here. They want to isolate Yoku. They see he doesn't have help. Help is coming, but it's going to be too late, it seems, as Always Wanna Fly nukes him down. They will kill off Yoku, and oh, Aloha Dance, he's in quite far, TP'd in late, wanted to assist his buddy, don't think there was really any chance of him saving him anyway, and now Funic may run him down, stack up the Napalm, a little more nuke damage, uh, purifying flames, is it going to be enough? They secure the kill, Team Spirit, they get the job done again, make it 6 to 4, 10 kills in 5 and a half minutes, and this is before the CK really gets too active, he is still... Just relaxing the bottom lane, 37 at 26. He's crushing those creeps. All right, so he bought a full stick and a bracer. He better start fighting. Uh, he's, he's dying right now, or at least dropping low, but uh, bracer saving life, or uh, tread saving lives here, I suppose, is Illidan. Still a decent amount of HP to work with. I'm just kind of... I don't know what the, the purpose of him farming a lane is for so long. Like, you know your Chen lineup needs momentum. They are going to be going on G here. Oh, Funic working his way in, but at the same time, no fear, just rolling away up to the river. See you later, buddy. And actually, six heroes made no fear getting the long range 
harassment from the Oracle as Bear Rider Illusions pursue him out. And at long last, the Chaos Knight, he's left his lane. Where's he gonna go? Yeah, there we go. There's the TP scroll. As uh, so he's just gonna TP bottom. No, he wants the rumble. He's gonna come on the mid lane. Iceberg needs some help. Always wanna fly. Not able to save him. Even Phantasms, but does he get enraged? He does barely pull FNG back and pops the dust. Cracks the bounty hunter. Braining him low. Finishes the job. So Illidan's first rotation nets them one kill. But it's still a bounty hunter for a razor. Feels like a win anyway for VP, especially with the TP committed. Aloha dance diving deep for this one. So always wanna fly. Is he gonna get him? Not quite. He's down two. Make it a double kill. Always wanna fly with both of the last hits. Seven to Six the score. And the, yeah. It's a bloodbath. It, it really is. Everyone's just battling CIS Dota at its finest here. Somebody call for an ambulance. And the thing is, if they keep trading evenly, I think Team Spirit will eventually start falling behind regardless because FNG is already level five. Once track becomes available, you're going to be able to kite out the Batrider a bit easier. You're going to get bonus gold for all those kills that you're going to be getting. They're now prioritizing Yoku's farm a bit more, so he's a little bit under halfway to blink right now. Oh, Iceberg. I feel like you've seen this one a few too many times. They move in again. The roll comes through. Quad lane mid. Iceberg. Can he make it out of here? No chance. Yeah, I thought for a second that kick might have helped him. Uh, it looked like it was going to help send him to safety, but not the case. Yoku gets it on the action. It is a full five-man all mid game now. VP, the entire team, just battering spirit. Bottom tower is under attack. Uh, what five do you do? heroes mid, man, eight F minutes in. Can they fight 5v5? This is, is, is why... that the play for spirit? Well, I mean, they can technically fight 5v5, but not when there's no phantasm and your hand of god has to be used to try to save one hero. Not in that manner. Uh-oh, Avalanche coming through. Funnick, he really wanted that rune. He may live to regret it. Just one more swing of that big old paw. Tiny gets the kill, and I mean, Draskal, with this many kills, you gotta be worried if your spirit, this bounty hunter, almost level six with all the rotations. Track gold is something Spirit can ill afford to be giving away at this stage. Yeah, I, I think that it's just going to be non-stop aggression from VP. They've kind of taken a, a page in a Navi's book, just literally battle 24-7. Just run. Run at them, and then when you die, run at them some more. It's so good against Chen lineups, because anytime you have this jungler who needs, you know, a couple of minutes to get his creeps going, you know, he wants level 5 and 6, he wants to start pushing, you just constantly are forcing him to move around the map. Chen's not the most mobile of heroes by any means. You're stopping the push at the same time. So even trades for VP are okay, and especially now with the track being available, like you mentioned, it's it's not going to get any better. So they need to start grouping up around Phantasm, around having the Hand of God available. That will allow, you know, Funic to get his blink going. And then once that happens, I think Team Spirit are going to hit a really good power spike where they can actually take fights. And it's not as if they're getting, like, totally beaten down or anything. It's just by nature of their heroes, VP are more happy to trade in the early game than Team Spirit because their lineup is more predicated around fighting and then getting objectives right away. Where VP can just fight for the sake of fighting because they have track. So looking like for Spirit, like where where does the turnaround maybe come here? What, what do they need? What are the, the key, I, key Honestly, they just need them. to be five or at least four and let Funic farm another lane. Because then you're like pushing a tower, you're forcing VP to react to you. Bounty Hunter is obviously not super good at this stage in the game when it comes to stopping a push. He's more just like trying to find the picks, get the tracks out. But it's, it's kind of getting a little bit scary because, you know, this Earth Spirit, he's eventually going to get up Magnetize. He's level 5 right now. Supports are really highly leveled this game. Yeah, but there's a ton of kills, so yeah. anytime you have high kill game, you're going to have high level supports. And that's another really good strength of VP's lineup, is their heroes actually scale phenomenally with just experience. They don't necessarily need any item progression to kill people. Oh, Spirit, as though the feasting wasn't enough. Now he's tracked, so that, even more vision for him. Oracle going to look to heal him up here mid. But in general, top tower VP just tower. keeping the pressure on the on the razor pick, designed to kind of deal with the Radiant OD mid. It has not really worked out that well so far. I'm so secretly OD's happy about that. <laughs> I just want to put that on the record. He's actually doubled in net worth. Yeah, it's it's tough though. I mean, obviously, Earth Spirit ganks. Doing the dual offlane also means that you have one less support that can be dedicated to helping out your mid player. Oh god, they want the pesky oracle. Track comes through. First track kill of the game. Give it to VP, and now they see Godlike as well. A slow raiding party. This is, if only they had a tusk right now, the whole gang could just roll at him. Yeah, so just to give you an idea, that one support kill was 600 gold for VP. And that's only the level one trick. Yeah. It gets a lot uglier. Oh boy. I'm worried for Team Speeder right now. I really think they're going to be kicking themselves for that aggro duel, and it, it actually just did nothing. Like, sure, your CK farmed, but the rest of your team suffered for that. And let's be honest, like, none of these spirit heroes are really great comeback heroes. CK needs a good start and to keep on fighting. Same for the Razor. Batrider, I suppose, can catch up a bit in the jungle, but it's not like he's a, a, a hard carry by any stretch. 
they just need him to, you know, you get a lasso pick and then you can push a tower. That's where the that team spirit gets the momentum from. They get it from getting objectives, not necessarily from fighting directly. And if you can find that one, you know, Earth Spirit pick or OD, whatever, doesn't even matter who it is. Any kill is okay because it would force DP back. Like just seeing this, this Chen Creep army and a couple of heroes from Team Spirit, they're backing off. They're saying, we would rather not fight into the full brunt of the creeps and your team at the same time. And that's pretty much what Team Spirit have to play around. They need to make sure that the Chen army stays alive, they're moving as a unit, and that way they can start getting objectives, getting their mech up on the Chen and whatnot, and play from there. Convertus Pro leading 11 to 6 as far as kills go, but they do lose the first tower uh, of the game here mid. And now the Wrecking Ball rotates towards bottom. Tracks deployed. Uh, definitely a weakness of the Bounty Hunter pick. He doesn't really fight or stop the push quite so well. He's kind of awful at stopping uh, pushes, actually. <laughs> I guess the Shuriken is okay if they're all tracked, but always want to fly. Oh, almost combo down. Not quite. Yoku. Not able to finish him off, and now the Magnetize, first one of the game comes through. It's a really well-placed one by No Fear, dropping boulders all over the place. On to Goblet, they're gonna go. He's tracked. Everybody needs to run now. Tiny in the house. The Rockman wants his treats, and he's gonna get him to a double kill, make it four in total. Funnick, last man standing. That's another track kill, a full beatdown. VP, what was once 11 to 6, is now 16 to 6. They route Spirit, they don't lose a single solitary hero. And now Spirit, uh, I mean, they're no longer just bleeding. They, they're they getting decapitated, arms are coming off. Like, this thing is just falling apart real quick. That's a 4,000 yeah. gold swing. Eesh. 1,000 gold to kill, man. Bounty Hunter. Well, I guess technically it's more like 800 or something. But still, the, the difference in just net worth at this stage in the game, given the lineups, and the fact that, again, Bounty Hunter was not really contested. He didn't have to roam. Like, Team Spirit set up their lanes in such an awkward manner. I might be able to kill FNG at least. Oh, there are no takebacks in the world of Dota 2. <laughs> no, he's just gonna track it. Let's Weaver. Man, this is so rough for Team Spirit. Like, when you have your first five man push get dismantled like that, and the problem was the timing was just so inopportune. No Fear hit six before they started pushing the tier one, so he has Magnetize. They just dump everything on the CK because they know that's like one of the scariest heroes. And after, you know, he just dies, doesn't even use Phantasm, fights over, gotta run. And as soon as you start running, like, you're, you're screwed. There's the yep. track, Blink there's tiny. the tiny with the blink, you've got the Earth Spear, like, you can't run from this lineup. Oh. And you can't farm versus this lineup either, says G. Comes in, lays into Illidan, FNG there, giving him the pokey poke. It's gonna be forced to defensively Phantasm. He tries to think about a turn, but he just can't stand against them. Aloha Dance unloading the freezing field, then is gonna follow up with a Nova. On the Iceberg they go, VP slaughtering Spirit where they stand. This is getting very ugly very quickly. And Bounty Hunter just laughing. He's you know, it's not often that you see a game beat where... Beatdown. Absolute beatdown. You know, it's it's a 12 kill lead for VP. They haven't taken a single outer tier tower, but I would still say VP are going to be hard pressed to lose this game. Th this is just an unbelievably fast start for the bounty hunter especially. I get this stage in the game already almost having mech arcanes. He's, and like, he's farming the Chen. He's probably... By 400 gold already. Yeah. I don't know, man. God Black is probably going to die here, too. Oh, God Black. He, there's a raiding party headed his way. Chen is going to back off, slow down, and Aloha Dance moves into position. Two tracks uh, coming out now, and FNG gets involved. The two hero boulder smash follows this one up. They're going to combo. Control Funnick look to bring him down. He is kept alive by the Oracle for the time being. They turn onto FNG. Can they get a second kill here? Spirit needed it. They will get it. All right. They get back on track, but unfortunately, they don't have the track to work with. Still, they'll take it. It was a bit unfortunate. The tiny combo didn't do enough to take the Batrider out. I think if Funnick instantly dies there, the fight maybe goes a bit differently. This could open up an opportunity for Team Spirit to go for a little bit more. Roshan. Oh, can can they Rosh quickly enough? It's not that it's fast, but it's pretty safe, because you can just have Chen Creeps tank it up. Magnetize is cooling down, though. It's ready to go. Chen Armlet online. They don't have Phantasm, though. I think that VP still fight this, to be honest. Uh, and I think that's a double damage OD, if my eyes aren't mistaking me. G moving in. Unfortunately, he does get lassoed. And they're going to throw the ugly big bird up on the cliff. Keep him... Oh, or try to, anyway. Yeah, he gets off one auto attack. Now he's going to work on the Chen Crease, but he is out of the picture. Well controlled by the Batrider. Forced to self-banish. And now it's up to the Crystal Maid, who unloads the Freezing Field. Very good damage there. They get the track kill on Illidan. At the same time, the OD low, but not dead yet. Can't quite bring down Funnick. Moving on to Iceberg. Now they're one by one. Sister Systematically dismantling Spirit. Three down, about to be four with the Shuriken. It will be a triple kill for FNG. You can completely take down our OD, wipe out the Tiny, and it doesn't matter, say VP. We're still going to take the fight. Yeah, as soon as uh, they realize that, oh, right, the CK used Phantasm top and we have Magnetize, we can just go. 
Unfortunately, the Imagine mech... Imagine if OD isn't on a cliff, like... <laughs> yeah, it would have been way worse. And I think the mech was on the courier when Goblack died, too. He was, like, buying an item, that's why he stutter-stepped for a second, so... Not having the use of that either against the Magnetize already at this early stage. You know, No Fear is making his way straight into a Veil. Mech is done on the bounty. This is just... It's super ugly for Spirit. And you can just, you can tell they, they realize the game slipping out of their hands. They they get the two kills, they're like, we have to get an objective now. Let's go for Roche. Fortunately, VP, there with the punish. Well, Illidan's gonna hit 11 here. He's gonna have Phantasm available for the next fight. Don't and under, he has the armlet now. Yeah, you, you can't underestimate CK's damage output. That That is something they can always look to and say, okay, if we get, you know, a nice round of RNG on a Reality Rift with a Phantasm, we can blow somebody up relatively quick. Maybe that is enough to turn a fight in their favor. Well, Spirit, they're gonna beat their head against that brick wall once more. And Magnetize is already up again. 80 second cooldown, please. Can we just, like, multiply that by, like, 10? <laughs> have it, like, be, like, a 10 minute cooldown or more? Uh, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm not, an Honestly, earth, I'm not an earth spirit picker, so it works the, for me. The hero's mechanics are just so hard to balance, in my opinion, that you kind of... He just does stuff that, like, no one else in Dota can do, really. Yeah. So, either you nerf it into the ground and then no one picks him, or you tip the other way. I wouldn't mind never seeing earth spirit again, to be honest. It's kind of like when Tinker was played all the time. Everyone just got so you, tired you of seeing You don't miss hero. Tinker even now? I mean, I feel like he's been out of the meta long enough. Like you, you, so you say that, but it, it's been like two years. If it's years like that almost. disgusting, like March Tinker, I guess now that doesn't work on Ancients. It's it's yeah. not likely to be the same, but but they actually just destroyed that hero like four patches in a row. Because even the map changes hurt him. You can't farm three camps anymore in the Radiant Jungle. The little creeps get magic resistance as well. So your March doesn't even kill them. That and all these roaming supports are in vogue, and Tinker is pretty bad against the roam in general. It's it's not his patch. All right, smoke coming in here. They get the lasso, starting to fight off on FNG. He's the mech carrier, though. He's very tanky if he could get that off. I think his stick charges as well. Survives for a while. They're going to steal his damage and look to engage. OD putting himself under while the Magnetize goes to work on Illidan, but they have killed off the Bounty Hunter, so at least there won't be a whole lot of track gold this fight. The hammer gets dropped, but rather minimal damage. But Illidan, Armatug in the midst of the fight, can't get the job done. They turn back onto Iceberg, make it for Spirit. No matter who they pick, no matter how the fight starts, it just isn't theirs to take. Unbelievable. Wiped out again. Morale has to be at an all-time low. Yeah, they even got the creeps. I mean, I guess fortunately they killed the bounty hunter first, so there wasn't like five track kills, yeah. which would have been like way worse in my opinion. You, see, you say that, but maybe it's only it's only delaying the inevitable here, Andy. Oh dear. It's Funic. Oh, we oh, stopping the Roche, man. All this right, is, this is big. Good plays by Funic. Is it low enough for them to go in? Can Spirit contest? They're thinking about it. They want to move forward. Funnick, though, Firefly now down. The team has respawned, but there is no Phantasm, no Hand of God, and no Lasso. At the same time, no OD Older Magnetize, so everybody a bit low. As the mid tower drops very low. Always want to fly. Is he going to poke back in? If he denies it, he may cost himself his own life. No fear getting the lane ward down. And VP, forget about the Roshan. They're going to take a tower. It's only the second tower of the game when they have 26 kills. <laughs> it's like, like, oh, hey, there's there's regular objectives this game. We don't have to kill them. We don't have to team wipe them 20 times to, to win the game. It just speaks volumes about how their team functions because of the bounty. Like, the, the dynamic of how a team is with that hero is so much different. It's like, we don't really care about the towers. We just want to battle. Battling has happened this game. Oh, funny. He gets the lasso up, but no fear is held in position because of the frostbite. He didn't get forced back, was not able to drop the magnetizer, any of his combos. Still the shuriken bouncing. It's going to hit pretty much the entirety of the team spirit squad, dropping them decently low. And Illidan forced the armlet toggle through this. Can he keep it going? They've isolated G. This will be a big kill. But down he goes. The OG simply hitting way too hard. 50 stolen in and counting the Oracle with minus 25 alone. Now Goblack, he will be number five. Hey, Dark Troll Warlord, come with me! Oh, I think that's gonna die as well. Yoku will now kill Goblack's new convert. That was clearly not the right cult to join. You know, at some point, you just kind of have to wonder if VP are beating a dead horse here. I mean, I think the Roshan play is uh, pretty played out at this point. I just... I don't know what they can do with their heroes. The, the, the issue really stems from the fact that, again, their lanes were really weird. I feel like if you just have a safe lane farming CK, you have the Oracle kind of chilling mid every once in a while, making sure that the Razor is not just getting camped by the Earth Spirit. 
you maybe have a Razor have a much better start. Maybe he gets his tanky items up, you know, gets a couple of good static links and fights. Because we saw early on, Iceberg, he actually did a huge amount of damage, and it took a long time for him to die. They just left him on an island. They're like, yeah, whatever. You're going to get roamed on by two, three heroes sometimes. I think there were like four. four. <laughs> yeah, four VP heroes mid. Like, you can't just leave Razor in that position. It's like a Death Prophet. If you just let him die over and over again, he's going to be a zero value to the team. Wow. Well. It's starting to feel like he is not nothing against Iceberg as a player, but uh, the no, not mean, being set up for success. Yeah, there, there's nothing he can do. Like, yeah. what do you do against Earth Spirit Bounty Roam, and you have no support? Like, it, it's a lot of pressure on Goblak as well because he needs to be perfectly positioned at all times. I think they just laned themselves in a way that required immaculate execution, and they just didn't have it. They are five manning now. VP with a blink up on G. Ready to go at a moment's notice. Has the level 2 ultimate now. And Spirit trying to play the keep away game. But VP are going to force the issue a bit. Waiting for the next creep wave to march in. And then back off for drums on CK. It's just whatever you could buy right now. But looky here. We have a Veil coming soon for no fear. And with that plus an Aether Lens now on the Crystal Maiden. The nuke damage. That I mean, this CK ult is just useless now. Yeah, th there's so much. There's Greaves on the Bounty Hunter, like... I, I don't actually know what Team Spirit are supposed to do with this much of a deficit. Like, it's it's 13,000 gold lead in a 21-minute game. At the rate they're going, VP might have more more money than Gabe Newell pretty soon. Yeah, it's getting there. I, I think maybe one or two more fights, and honestly, Team Spirit might just tap out. They're going to click on VP's, in, in VP's inventories and be like, how the hell do we kill anyone? Cover one eye and hope that uh, half the items disappear. <laughs> That's a good strategy. I like that. <laughs> or get drunk enough where uh, where you think they have, but then you get punished. Just go full divide, you know? Yeah. Well, FNG is doing exactly that right now. Rod of Atos going to work. They are going to lasso the OT, and they drag him back towards his team. Not sure about that from Funnick. Oh, tries to keep him alive with the False Promise. Healed up a bit by the Pure Fine Flames. They have cracked the Aegis once. Can they do it again? Aloha Dance now forced to back off after Poppy the Freezing Field. FNG gets back in the middle of the fright. It's really all up to Illidan here to deal the damage. Just Funnick goes down, already a buyback on the chin. That's two down, might end up being three. Hammer drop, make it four. They're looking for more on to always want to fly. They're going to get him two. That's now five heroes dead with a dieback. I have not seen a beating this bad since Brazil versus Germany. And it ends up being a six for one fight. We didn't quite get the seven for one, but we were damn close. Ugly as sin. 37 to 12. Oh, that hurts. Well, Dream League's now rated R. For, yep. for violence, I think. Cover against, your kids' uh, eyes, their ears. And... Against Team Spirit. Yeah, that Dota, was... no longer family-friendly entertainment. That was actually brutal. I mean, again, they're, they're lanes. I really don't think it was an outdraft that much. Like, sure, Team Spirit, you know, you have a Chen lineup, you gotta execute, everyone pretty much knows how it works. CIS teams, I actually think, are some of the best at running Chen because they love to be aggro, you know? They wanna push, they wanna get objectives, they wanna fight. So, to see the way that they laned it and how badly it went for them, I think that was just literally the entire game. It was just, don't put the dual offensive lane down there. You left Iceberg alone, he got destroyed. You know, and your safe lane, you have this Funic Batrider who died, what, two or three times in lane as well to the, the Tiny and the CM lane. Basically nothing went right. Like, yeah. Bounty had a free start, Earth Spirit, every gank work. Razor didn't have a good lane. Batrider didn't have a good lane. CK had an okay lane, and then his first rotation, he gets, I think, they got two kills, but he didn't get either of them. Right, right. Nothing worked. It was tough. It was definitely tough. But I think their draft was okay. I, I just... Execution, lanes, not so great. All right, well, that was game one. We've got one more game to go here in the group stage at Dream League, and then it's just the land finals that await us. Can VP make it a clean toe sweep, guys? We'll see what the panel has to say right after this.